Do they class so it as run away? Nice radar. Do they class it as unlocking and running? Okay, so what did we change? Do they class so it first, as dashing back every time they try and close? I guess we'll see. It is no, a good, it the is light a good parry start, frame guess, yeah. advantage is going to be the same as with heavy parry. Why did we change that? Frame advantage because reduced. high level plates are parrying a light attack is actually something that happened really often. And so that was making the light attack even you even want you even want to less do light attack mm -hmm. than if you attack when you were at that level. So no I don't, I don't understand. Guard break is not any more guarantee after From a parry. parry whether it's parry nice, or light that's what I asked for. Attack. You're gonna get Fucking yes. some advantage. You're gonna be able Dude, to some of the shit they're doing is what I asked for. But you don't have a guarantee guard break out of parry. And parrying too early consistently open up. Parrying too uh, early. Open up Do they mean parry and then wanting to fit? So that's something. Dude, this actually looks like it's fucking doing shit when I fucking wanted. Uh, try to uh, parry too early. In it's some it's close to it. It's not like like on the nose, but it's fucking so close. If you're trying to parry. Are they actually you're doing good stuff? The fuck? Whatever. If you're trying to parry and you miss the window, you're gonna get it. So making Paris slightly difficult, more difficult to do, and uh, give uh, give more reward, uh, less reward to uh, to a successful parry. On guard break, for the moment, we did only a small change. It's the vulnerability window on attack startup. It used to be based on the attack duration, so longer attack had a bigger startup vulnerability to uh, to guard break. The issue that was that what was creating because you'll get chipped X often for long attack like if you that's all point of chip damage Shibuki, uh, you have to get opened up this kind of characters that's why I said it's so important so powerful heavy attack you had on reaction the time to trigger a guard break instead of even going forward parry so that's something we we wanted to remove is if you want to defend against an attack you either need to block it dodge it or parry it. But countering it with a guard break is not uh, is not an option. Stamina. So going forward on stamina, the first thing, basically, what we want to do mm. is we want you to feel and be more vulnerable when you're out of stamina. So one of the first thing is when you're blocking, when you're dodging, no, your stamina is not going to regenerate anymore. So let's say you're really low on stamina and you want to regenerate. Currently, you just have to dodge one, two, three, you're back full. So there is no real risk at being low or out of stamina because you can dodge. Oh, yeah, there's still flicker though, isn't there? No, they try to get rid of it though, right? Stamina is not going to regenerate. Also, having that on block allows the attacker to put pressure on the defender by keeping I can't believe they're actually doing stuff. It's crazy. State. Also, when you're out of stamina, you're much more vulnerable. So dodge is going to be a little bit slower when you're out of stamina. Peacekeepers dodging away. Your blocks are going to be weaker when you're out of stamina. So Take no more, damage more, like, uh, no more uh, interblock on light, for example, when you're out of stamina. So if the guy in front of you is out of stamina, you can actually chain your light attack. Oh, wow. Wow. So Even that's going to be good for Lawbringer, because he can get into his unblockables off that. As you will see later, we've also improved the chip damage. So even if he's blocking, he's going to still take a lot if he blocks the full, uh, the full chain. And Dude. one important thing... Dude, this is actually exciting, I'm not going to lie. ...to test it, <laughs> you can't parry anymore when you're out of stamina. So you can either block or dodge if it's an... Wait, you can't parry? Nah, no, I disagree. You should be able to parry when you're out of stamina. That's silly. They should be able to Getting do that. It's when you're out of stamina by your melee attack, it's just gonna pause the regen, so you won't be able to keep somebody out of stamina and locked in that state by using a melee attack. Yeah, I don't agree with the parry thing. That chip you should damage. be able to have that because it's a risk. With that's bad. That's a really bad change. The chip damage previously, chip damage used to be between two and eighteen percent of the attack. No, it's 18% across the board. Not bad. Attack, heavy attack, and it might be more when they're on stamina. That's what I asked for. I, I, not these percentages, but let's 18, see. It does 18% of the damage. So usually, normal chain, if you block it, it's going to remove you almost one bub of health. Nice. Something like that. In that version, you won't be able to kill somebody with chip damage. There's not going to be chip victory. 
the, the last one HP that you will have, you won't be able to lose it with chip damage. Again, mm. something that we want to test. We mm -hmm. have gone back and forth with this that. one. We had a version where you were able to kill with chip damage. Because it's going to turn into Tillmare at the, the very end bar again. If you, you can can't get deplete almost all of your enemy life, but you can't kill him with chip damage. Mm. Let's see how it behaves. I have a question. What I think the turtle mate re revolves around that last ball. <laughs> 20 or but whatever. 15, or how did we came up with 18? <laughs> <laughs> no answer. So I've been the, the fucked no, it's I've not been that. It's that. because basically we wanted to. Uh, to Nobody wants to dive into it. It doesn't matter. Like Everyone's just going to turtle at the end then. Of one bub of life on okay. the power on the most powerful chains. If exactly, Jackal. Full chain, so you can kill with chip damage. Like one <laughs> is that a technical term? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's also, Street Fighter is way harder to block Perfect. all the attacks like compared to this game. <laughs> like, way harder. And, uh, and so, by looking at all the characters and trying to get that balance, that's how we end up with Dude, this is actually really exciting. I can't believe they've actually Very good they've done <laughs> shit that I've wanted. You know what? I will do the and I said and like half a year. I said give it half a year. They've done shit I asked for like we five months ago. They finally come to the same fucking conclusion. Revenge. Some, some shit. What not, did not everything. change but... on the revenge? So currently, one of the issue when you're in revenge <clears throat> is that you. I don't think you take more damage when you're assaulting though. Crowd control moves. So, revenge activation, no, can't anymore be interrupted by melee attacks. Also, while you're in revenge, if you're attacking, you can't be interrupted anymore by a melee attack during the startup of your move. So that's wow. the thing. But wow, also, revenge is ridiculous. to balance that a little bit, if you're in revenge and you're doing melee attack, you're not going to get that uh, instant unbalance on opponents. We've increased a little bit the shield. <laughs> On, uh, on your HP to make uh, you uh, a little bit more, uh, so to give you a little bit more survivability when, you, uh, when you're in revenge. And one big thing that we are testing also is... You can't get parried when you're in revenge? That your attacks when you're in revenge can't be parried. Fucking hell. They don't know what they're doing Basically, in revenge. we want to make revenge the um, way the opposite... No more knockdowns in revenge, though. Opposite. Yeah, I know, but... Um, default state when you're in out of revenge is in one v one now though, which so I don't give a shit about. I think the mechanics really bad. To put him in out of I, I still think revenge and is on really the other bad end, mechanic. When you're in revenge, you become really in for one v one. It might be good for two v two, four v four, etc. And feel less about uh, being uh, parried and actually use the full set of move of your character. Then is unblockable going to be too powerful? when you're out of stamina or when you're in revenge. That's precisely why we have <laughs> this type of, uh, of things like the PTS. Yeah, Raid is unblockable in revenge. Yes, definitely you can't parry it. character has an unblockable move in his set, uh, it starts to be really good when you're out of stamina they blade or, Raider, or yeah. when he's uh, in revenge. <laughs> But also, that's becoming an interesting element. Yeah, I think 4v4 and 2v2 is a lost cause, personally. I, I, I think 1v1 is the only way this game could... So I don't, want I don't know, that's only my opinion, though. The dummy is back. Also, that's usually unblockable attack, usually costs a lot of stamina. So if you're using it... There's Possibly 2v2 control. could be okay. Putting yourself at that Excellent. same risk, yeah. So, it's a complex system here. Definitely, it's a worry, it's a worry that, uh, that we have, and that's something that, uh, that we want uh, to test here. You can still dodge because of iframes. You don't know uh, when to dodge, though. Actually, oh, there I just saw Flicker. One more thing on revenge that I forgot. But yeah, I don't care about revenge. I, I've never cared about that mechanic. Yeah, they, they, there's too much inconsistency Ooh. with it. They're trying to make it more consistent. Um, so I'm guessing uh, Warlord <laughs> can't headbutt and you fall down. Well, there, which is really let's cool. just say uh, next week we'll be publishing a full blog yeah, post. Dude, that I'm, I'm going to try this. I'm definitely going to try this. When is it? Next Thursday. How much we have, uh, if I'm not doing anything. Change the moves. Uh, it's that, it's Wait, next, fir stuff. Yep. next Thursday I'm at hospital. And uh, <laughs> Flicker. So we've removed Flicker. How did we remove Flicker? So they used they removed to be fucking Flicker. Holy life, shit. This is like proper big. On the uh, on the attack, wow. so that you can cancel that attack to uh, do a zone attack to make that input easier to do. On uh, this would definitely console, worth watching. But it's also the case on the PC when if you're playing with uh, with mouse and keyboard. That buffer used to be pretty big, so we've dramatically reduced that buffer. So in terms of timing, you will have to be a little bit 
more synchronized with your finger. Mm -hmm. You will have Should to be. press the button almost at the same time. There's still a little <coughs> buffer, but it's really, really small. It's not big enough to create the, the flicker button. As a consequence, zone might be harder to do, is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. It's going to be slightly tougher to perform. So technically, it's supposed to be slightly tougher to perform zone attack. Actually, when you're playing it, if you're trying to do a zone attack and not trying to do a flicker bug by... People who are used to abusing flicker user, are going to find that so hard to get used to doing the actual zone. It's going to take them a few days. They'll be like, oh, I can't get used to pressing like this. I'm so used to just abusing this. Zone attack <laughs> to do a zone attack. But again... That's no, a roach is okay because it can chip. He's got really good chip now. Uh, hit. And that's it for uh, for that first batch. Interesting. So that's that actually really is interesting. Coming to the private <coughs> test, uh, to the public test environment. Sorry. Oh, uh, one sec, guys. Next week. Next, next week. week? Next Thursday. 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 Thursday through Sunday. So I think through Monday actually. Yeah. Uh, exactly. So all of those change in the defense meta. Plus improvements on the uh, on ranking and tournament. Yep. So that's going to be a pretty big, big yes. weekend. Yes. So and if then you one are. One thing just that is important, <laughs> as you saw, I've put a lot of nice artworks in that, uh, in that presentation. It's a lot of concept art that were produced during the development of the game, whether it's from maps or character, etc. Everything is coming from char is characters or maps that actually are in the game like <laughs> there are no teases like, oh, it's a new character new no or, it's yeah. different step that actually that we took before getting to uh, yes. the character so you see there is a lot of artwork of uh, old version of the browser this is proper good news guys the, uh, that would just uh give the yeah, package to the net yes <clears throat> uh there are no teases hidden in this powerpoint so don't go looking for. Them. Actually, yes, go go back and look for them because then our view. Our view <laughs> Literally our every view character is viable no, all of a sudden because of chip um, damage. But it's like every really every character. Cool piece of art because yeah. we have some <clears throat> fucking incredible concept artists. The, so shoot out the, to those guys. the raider yeah. with the, the chopped off warden head. Yeah. That's amazing. That. But it's the real raider. This yeah. One. It's the, um, the final concept. I wanted to say for people maybe who didn't do the last public test. If you're just wondering how, yeah, they need chip the damage basics, to um, kill. Like, anyone who's on uh, the only on bad PC, thing is everyone's going to just going to turn to up at the end now. And it's granted to you. It's just, it's a separate. It's a Play separate fraud, fraud. Yeah. Say on, the, on when the patch test, comes out. And you just download it there. Yeah, I'll be and playing it. Hundred percent. your progression you from the previous one. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, for, no, from I, the I think we retake the. Your yeah, you should like. I want to talk to them. You should be able to parry without stamina. That's so stupid taking that away. this week. But That's the one ranking, thing they've yes, done wrong. The the they've done that really you, wrong. You got, do you reach, we keep it. Yep. Uh, but Don't get out since it'll still be a guest game with 50 50. What will happen is that in um, the first matches, you will be able to move. Uh, yeah, but more now they can't just block all the time and then do 50 50s. They actually will the take chip game. damage. So if we it's not as bad, man. As it is, the, Trust me, the it's not as bad. For they, it, it changes for a lot. Because the uh, what they did so really, uh, is you'd verse someone who has a 50 50. So they block all your attacks and then every now and again they try and 50 50 you. That's what they do. Now they're going to take damage every time they block on your attacks. You can come back so, for that. Can't really do and that, can you? Time, again. And, and at the same time, we can test the new range we've made. Uh, we've made. Uh, for it's, it's just going to be wards and wards and rev, and there's loads of exploits and, and flicker. I can't be asked. Once the flicker and shit's gone, I'll, I'll, I will. I can't be asked with flicker. It's so annoying. We've made a quick balance pass on all the characters. And people just blocking. Like, I attack lords. I'm very aggressive. And people just blocking and not having any negative for it. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for the chip. But it's possible that with those changes, some character have really powerful techniques or combos. But a parry out of Sam really will be very strong with that zone. No, yeah, they need to parry, man. They need, they need parry out of Sam. That's really yes, stupid. It's to collect data. <laughs> and, uh, That's supposed to be the risk reward. To see what like, we keep, what we go live with, and what does what it mean, what we, what we need to, to take into account and rebalance specific move before going live with some, uh, with some changes. And, and I was seeing some player asking, when does that come to the real Yeah, Burns, they're going to have to guess the uh, like what you're going to do. We test it first, we get the feedback, we see how much we need to iterate on that, and then we release it when it's ready. Yes. And no, you have to dodge effect, unblockable. Uh, there were some wreck. other changes from the previous public test on the tournament that the uh, yes. team is working on, but oh, yeah. is, is not in this particular build. I wonder what the audience is going to be like. Yeah, if he, uh, if he, like uh, two, if 